Hey, welcome back to Cotangents, the show where we do two bad segments in a row and finish off with a somewhat good one. Hey, it's us. Guys, why does being healthy suck? Or getting healthy, I should say, because I'm not the healthiest person by Obviously. a long shot. Yeah, I, I am actually... Uh, taking up the space in front of the door with my fat and right. it's, it's getting hard to navigate any kind of space. You eat a lot of pizza. I do eat a lot of pizza. I also eat five dozen eggs every morning to get large. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Do you but eat any bologna? I do. That's I great. also steal buckets from bologna. But anyways, why does being healthy suck? And like... I don't know. I don't understand what you mean by this, because I literally had the exact opposite realization this week. Yeah, but, like, you read stuff about being healthy, and you're like, man, I want to be healthy. Being healthy seems like something that would be good to do. But then there's, like, no, little to no explanation on how to go about this. Because it's just like, well, you just got to do healthy stuff. You just got to eat healthy things. Well, yeah, that's, that's exactly the thing that makes it terrible is it when you try to be healthy and you have nothing to go off of. So you just yeah. go by what the next nearest person to you says. Yeah. Which generally isn't true. You know how, like, dentists, most dentists are like, okay, to successfully brush your teeth, you need to spend three hours uh, <laughs> brushing your teeth, then one hour flossing, and right. then you'll be okay. And then you'll be not, you'll, you won't die you're, in five you're, years you won't, from your teeth. You won't die from t- tooth decay. <laughs> and then it's just like, well, I have actual things that I need to accomplish. I, I, yeah, I, I can see where you're going it, with this. It's like that, except with stuff like sh- stretching. Uh, I the other day, I was wanting, I was thinking about going on a, on walks, and I was like, man, I should do that more. Mm-hmm. I want to exercise more. And then my mom was like, no, but no, but you gotta like do stretches beforehand. <laughs> and it's like before you walk. Before you walk, and I, it makes sense. But like, I get walking what you're doesn't make sense. <laughs> you walk every day. Yeah, but no, like actually. Uh, walking for the intent of exercise. Here's my easiest advice for actual people and not robots. If you want to do something... No, I'm not calling you guys robots. I'm calling, like, all but of it's these... True. <laughs> it's true. I'm calling all these other, like, diet stuff, like, just stick with it forever. And it's like, well, that's really hard to just get yourself into something. Here's my actual advice. Uh, if you ever start something, do it with friends. Because... Hey. That just makes it a whole lot easier what? and just a whole lot more fun. Just well, anything. I, okay, I have a question. Yeah. Um, mm. How do you start something if, uh, like, just just theoretically, mm-hmm. uh, you, you don't uh, have <laughs> friends? Don't have friends? Right. Well, well then you're get screwed. Well, get started on getting friends. But how can you get started on getting friends if you're supposed to start things? You with just friends? gotta, you oh, just gosh. gotta, you just gotta stick with it, man. You gotta be your own friend. <laughs> you gotta let God be your friend. You gotta, you gotta be, just, you gotta be the friend. <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be the friend to get the friend. <laughs> no, but really, like, I, I would not have done anything like as much that I do right now if I didn't start with friends. Like I, doing cotangents. Like doing cotangents yeah. or doing walking and stuff. Or like existing. That. Or existing. If I didn't exist, I wouldn't with friends. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> exist with friends. Man. If I didn't exist, I wouldn't with friends either. But yeah, like eating healthy, it's it's mm-hmm. just like you need you need to buy like it it's like the most expensive things, like four tons of kale every Wednesday. <laughs> that is kale not is even true. Not that good for you. K- okay. You need to you need to buy all this kale. And it's like, well, it's really expensive. And also, it just tastes plain old bad. And it's like, well, do you want to die at 30 years old? See, I have okay. the opposite opinion. I think, like, kale kale isn't that good for you. But it tastes great. I just eat it for fun. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Just I whenever, not, really? just whenever All my I... friends think I'm healthy, but I just eat it kale because it tastes amazing. Just straight up. Just shove some is this, regular is this, old unseasoned is this a bit or in my is, mouth. Is this truth? And, yeah. Is this truth? It is it is truth from a certain perspective, meaning not truth at all. I'm making this up. Okay. I know your sister eats avocados for fun. Yeah, and she's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, avocados are disgusting. Dude, I love avocados. I used to hate okay. them, and then I ate them, and then I loved them. No, avocados by themselves are disgusting. If you have it, like, as part of something, you know, it's like right. eating a tomato. As what the heck are salad. you doing eating a tomato <laughs> just true. by itself or an onion? That's what the heck true. is your problem? But if you, like, turn tomatoes and onions and... Avocados into guacamole, then that's great. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I think 
Uh, and kale. I put kale in my guacamole. <laughs> kale, just whole leaves. Kale gamole. Yeah. Kale guacamole. guacamole kale. Yeah. Col- kale gamole. And I don't use chips. I just put guacamole okay. in a kale and wrap it. <laughs> in a kale. It's, like, a, it's kale. a kale uh, burrito with guacamole. Yeah. That's a thing. Probably. That is probably a thing somewhere. Probably somewhere in California. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I was just going to say, for real. Okay. But, like, for real, if you want to be healthy... Here's my advice. Uh, get a new mom. <laughs> wow. Dude. Oops. No. Time Last for a new episode, mom. Justin slams your mom. Now you're slamming his mom. Is this going to be an all-out feud now? Yeah, just like milk. Just wait till someone steals a bucket, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying, like, like uh, you can't really, you don't buy your own food anyway at this age yeah. in life and this is where you get started on your healthy f- food parts if yeah you let like. me just go to the mom exchange and turn in my mom for a new mom I'm sure, I can, get a, mom. A, is that, I'm sure is, I can get a good deal on trading up on my mom especially on Valentine's Day <laughs> dude don't talk about my mom like that it's a Valentine's Day it is Valentine's Day and we're talking about your mom gosh how could I no the, val- the Valentine's Day special is getting new siblings <laughs> <laughs> I did that long ago, and it was the best thing I've ever done, for real, actually. What? Yeah, I can tell you've uh, you've cashed in on that. I have. Deal, what, I, 20 times? No, not you got 20, 20 new moms? No, not 20 new moms. No, the new 20 siblings. new siblings. Oh, 20 new siblings. I got three new siblings. I see, I see. The first one was okay. The, th- the third one was... This no, the second one was amazing. I haven't done anything with the last three, so I, see. I, I still Anything. have to work on getting those ones exchanged. Yeah, okay, but They're like yeah. tornadoes, they take a while to grow up. <laughs> uh, at the same time, though, I, I really feel oh, like man, we have being become, we've become more and more sef- self referential, <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, uh, there's like one person who's actually going to get all these references. Yeah. It's fine, and it's my mom. Okay, you know what's stupid? You. I just, I, Roasted! <laughs> I can't. I can't, man. You know what's dumb, though, about eating healthy? Yeah. Is that it's hard to do, and it should be a lot easier to do. We should get That's Obama I, yeah. to it's not get... not hard to do. We should get Obama to tell us to do it, and then everyone <laughs> will do it. Even though he's no... I need no, the government to help me eat healthy. He's not even I, part of the government anymore, I need the government sure. to force... Well, he was. He pretty much is. <laughs> Obama he, is the government. I want to re-elect him. Obama 2020. To force I, me to, d- to do force healthy. me to eat healthy. Force me to eat avocados. I want every American to be forced to eat a whole avocado every hour for the rest of their lives. <laughs> no, that's the new holiday. Every holiday food is just changed avocado to avocados. Day. You have Christmas. You have Boxing you gotta, Day. You, you and gotta, you have Avocado Day. No, no, no. Every every holiday is now just the food that you eat on that holiday is just avocados. It's just oh, avocados. So, Instead so of like ham un- or for, turkey. For for Valentine's Day, you give your Valentine an avocado. For Halloween, you wear an avocado. For Easter, you eat an avocado. For Easter, you also find avocados in a bush. And I'm then down, you, dude. I'm down. And then you avocados eat them. Avocados are a superfood. Like humans would live twice as long if they just ate some avocados. If they just smeared Maybe it all. that's what happened. Yeah. Like hey. M- Methuselah, I think. No, it can't be him. Like he just he just ate a bunch of avocados. Yeah. Was it? And he lived nine hundred years. Yeah. Yeah. Bursting fact, y'all. Okay. Bursting fact. Yes. Did you know if you spe- if you just smeared avocado all over your face, you just live twice as long? I did not know that. You also yeah. look. Twenty percent more like Terry Crews. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's it's a hundred percent proven. Wait, how how is that a joke at all? <laughs> you look like Terry Crews. It's not a joke. He said Terry Crews. Ha 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 ha. How do you, how on earth would you look like Terry Crews if you speared you your? You gain face control of your pecs I- independently of each other. With avocados on your face. Yes, okay. I know it's counterintuitive. But they're actually peck nerves that run through your face. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, so just like and the avocado. It's actually okay, so why just they spread it's, avocados on the lobes right there, and mm-hmm. then just like do right, that. right on those it's lobes. A, it's actually so right. why they're called avocados because it's uh, avocado is actually um, it's a, it's Mayan. It's for, a sh- yeah, it's a for shortened pectoral. word. Yeah, it's a shortened word for the Mayan word for uh, pectoral. And wow. because of that, it uh, it like start it like grows new veins in your body. So you have twice as many veins and live twice as long. Huh. Yeah. They're actually green veins. It's pretty cool. That's how the Hulk got his powers. You just ate oh, a yeah. lot of avocado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. 
in, okay. in the original comics, like the, the new story is he like got radiation or whatever. That, that's mm-hmm. that's stupid. But it, it, yeah, that's a dumb story. Yeah, that's, that's really dumb. in the original comics. Um, he fell into a vat of guacamole. Um, <laughs> and, and then his pants turned purple. Yeah, and he just came out, and his skin was green. Actually, it was, it was gray in the original comics. Right, Because they didn't course. have enough, enough okay. colors in the comics. But, but his uh, pants were purple. His pants were purple. <laughs> they they made sure to color strong. his pants. He got super strong. And that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's why avocados are priced so high today, because the military has recognized that, right, right. that it's, it's a superfood. Mm-hmm. And so they... They turn you into a superhero. Yeah, that's how, that's how the, all, all our Whoa. soldiers are so strong and stuff. <laughs> you just see a soldier with just like a, gua- like a, like a, a guac hat no, like a like an avocado hat. Well, the thing and is, his eyes are just replaced with the pits of gu- avocados. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it's so what ingrained in done? American culture that avocados are for hipsters. So the what the army has to do is they have to crush up the avocados right mm-hmm. into really small small bits and just like disperse it through the all of the MREs oh, and stuff that the I army see. eats. So they're just secretly like feeding themselves avocado the whole time, oh. and that's actually what gives the MREs that that kind of part peculiar taste. You mm-hmm. know? Oh, that's crazy. And if you're yeah. wondering uh, why uh, Americans are just so well off, uh, those uh, <laughs> when pla- when you see planes flying through the air, that trail behind them is actually just mini- just tiny particles of avocado all being injected into our bodies. Yep. Thanks yep. for listening to Cotangents. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and on Instagram and uh, watch the YouTube videos if you missed any of these segments. Uh, yeah, we're going to be live at 6 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time every Wednesday. So tune in for that. Smell you later. Smell you later.